Hey everyone, today we're going to check out Sugarbyte's Guitars plugin. This is a standalone plugin that does not require contact. This plugin is made to emulate a rhythm guitarist. So there's going to be chords, strumming patterns, and there's going to be lots of customization, uh, whether it's an upstroke or a downstroke, um, you know, chord variations, muted notes, uh, stuff like that, whether it's a slow strum or a fast strum. There's a lot of different things you can do with it. I'm going to start off really, really basic and just show you kind of how to program your own stuff in here. So I would go here and start with the default go to user and hit default. Now we have just a blank slate. If you hit play, you see it moving, but nothing even happens. So I'm going to set a trigger here. So it will trigger this chord to happen on the first note. Now at its most basic, you can take this and go and, you know, each key will play that chord. But a lot of the functionality of this plugin is going to be here in the actual plugin itself instead of going in your sequencer. Here's where you can program patterns, strumming patterns, and stuff like that. The direction will determine if it's an upstroke or a downstroke. And then you can also go in here and add muted notes like this. This will be a dead note. And this will just ring out. So it's going to ring out there, and then you can say, I want it to stop ringing out right there. And it stops. So let's go in and look at the different strumming styles. This one's going to be slow. That's called slow one. Slow two is even slower. You hear the pick rakes across the strings uh, a bit slower there, and then even more so with slow three. And you can also have a double. So those are the basics there. And then you also have little kind of modulation here. Now, of course, this is very boring. It's just playing one note. What's the point? Okay, so let's go in and do a little pattern here. So a good way to get the idea is to also go into some of the presets here and just load one up and take a look at what's going on here.
So those are just, you know, some examples of the presets. Hopefully you recognize... So that was just, you know, an example of some of the presets. Hopefully you recognize at least the uh, Smells Like Teen Spirit there. You can make chord progressions in your actual MIDI sequencer as well with major and minor chords mapped across the keys. So it's really deep, it's pretty complex uh, to get the hang of, but once you do, you can make really powerful progressions and have this just be a virtual rhythm guitarist and you can play on top of it, you can solo on top of it, you can just put it into your tracks if you need any kind of rhythm playing or if you just want to use chords. Um, you can change the guitar over here from uh, Star Player, Stratocaster, and Telecaster, um, and also some of the amp models and drive you heard, uh, you know, a bit different parameters on each of the presets there. So that was a quick look. It's very deep plug-in, so, you know, definitely take a look at the Sugar Bites videos for this if you want to learn about it further. Um, thanks for checking it out with me. I will see you guys next time.